Yo, what's up YouTube? Today, I'm gonna show you guys the best way to get your Einhorn Revolving Shotgun Gold on Vanguard. The shotgun wasn't too hard apart from leveling it up in the beginning because there isn't a lot of attachments to make this weapon good, but like by the end, you'll get those attachments and this thing will be really, really good by the end of it. You should start using the weapon normally all the way until level 30 so you could get your long shots and then you could go for your long shots in hardcore and then go off from there. I leveled it up in shipment 24-7 which is the easiest way. Most of the time I played hardcore to level it up and sometimes I went into core depending on the attachments and if it's strong close up, stuff like that. But I do recommend hardcore for sure. Now let's go over the camo challenges that you have to deal with. Now the first camo challenge is going to be your 300 eliminations. Naturally going to happen, pretty self-explanatory. Next you have your 50 headshots. This should naturally happen, especially in core because of the hip fire spread. You're going to hit those heads. Then you also have your 50 multi kills, pretty self-explanatory. You just need double kills, triple kills, stuff like that. It's going to happen naturally. Then you also have your 30 bloodthirsties. If you are struggling on this, I recommend you use a weapon of your choice. For me, I used the MP40 for my first four kills and then switched over to the Einhorn for my last kill and it counts towards the camo challenge and you could do that with any other weapon you want. Next, you have your 50 long shots. This should naturally happen if you are in hardcore. If you're not in hardcore, I really, really recommend you should go into hardcore with slug rounds and then you could start getting those long shots really, really easily. It could be on any map. The distance is not that far, so you could get long shots on shipment in DOS house if you wanted to. Then you also have your 100 close range kills, pretty self-explanatory, you are using a shotgun. Then you also have your 100 one-shot kills, uh, if you aren't using a build that one-shots, I really really recommend you should go into hardcore since you'll get one-shots really really easily, and you could get one-shots while going for your long shots if you are in hardcore. Next you have is your 50 kills without taking damage with these attachments. I highly highly recommend you should go into hardcore just so you can get kills really really easily and make sure you are using stims so you can heal up if you do get shot. Then you also have your 180s kills with these attachments. I recommend that you have other attachments for recoil control and make sure you are playing hardcore so you can be more accurate and be more far distance if it's needed. Then you also have your 100 hip fire kills with these attachments. This is going to be pretty easy. Just make sure you are having attachments for hip fire accuracy and recoil control, just so it is really easy to control and then you'll be good to go. Here's some class setups I used in the video. I have my normal class setup and the three class setups for the last three camo challenges. Hopefully this video helped and let me know if I should add anything else to these gold guides. Make sure you follow on other socials like TikTok and Instagram. And make sure you like and subscribe to keep up with the Call of Duty content. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.